Good morning, everyone. I'm Jessica with the Hub Online Network. Our apologies again that we were unable to broadcast the Cash Creek Council meeting live last night. We have new audio equipment and it decided not to work at all last night. So here is a recap of last night's meeting. So Councillor Pittman made a motion to request that staff look into applying for the three grants to help with pool costs that were mentioned by MP Bradvis in an email included in the March 1st agenda. These grants are the Canada Summer Jobs Program that provides funding to help hire summer students, Investing in Canada Infrastructure Fund, and the Green Municipal Fund, which can be applied for to cover infrastructure upgrades or renovations if they use sustainable material or green measures. Councillor Peters didn't think there were any projects surrounding the pool that would fall under the Green Fund. Councillor Pittman stressed that time was of the essence to apply for these grants if there was any hope of using them to help open the pool this year. The motion was passed, so staff will now look into the requirements of the grants and apply if they are able. Councillor Coomer provided some more information that the Interior Communities Foundation had requested for the Cash Creek Community Fund. She referred to the Lillooet Community Fund as an example of what Cash Creek would be using the funds for. A more detailed written report will be provided by Coomer at the next meeting. Council had to decide whether to continue with a second and final reading of Bylaw 6-001 Zoning Amendment or to make a change to the buffer zone prior to proceeding. This bylaw deals with rules surround, around where possible cannabis retail outlets will be allowed to operate within the village boundaries. Councillor Coomer made a motion to amend the buffer zone around schools and community halls from 200 metres to 150 metres. The motion was carried and the second and final reading of the bylaw were passed as well. With the adoption of the zoning amendment, potential cannabis retailers can now provide expressions of interest to the village. Interior Health provided the results of their inspection of the Cash Creek pool that was completed on March 11th. The only note on the inspection was, is the pool equipment constructed, modified or repaired with proper approval? The answer to that was no, with a note indicating that the gas room that supplied chlorine to the disinfection system had been deactivated and replaced with the hypochlorinator pump without the benefit of a construction permit. A request was made to have this system approved by the public health engineers prior to opening. Councillor Pittman made a motion to have senior staff apply for the construction permit as per the request from the report. Councillors Peters and Defoe suggested that it needed to be talked about at the next budget meeting and Mayor Santos stated that a construction permit was not needed as there was a pre-existing injection system and that it was simply being replaced. Ultimately, the motion to apply for the permit was passed. Council approved all of the requests made by the Cash Creek Easter Activity Planning Committee. Council approved a motion to approve a $500 bursary to, the, to a Cash Creek resident graduating this year. Councillor Coomer made a motion to look into the creation of a task force to look into drug-related problems in town. She suggested the task force be composed of the mayor, representatives from RCMP, Ambulance and Interior Health. The purpose of the task force would be to look for possible solutions to any problems uncovered outside the RCMP if possible. Councillor Coomer will look into this further and bring a more detailed report to the next council meeting. Council approved a motion to apply for funding through two new funding programs, Strengthening Communities Services Program, which can be used to address the impacts of homelessness, homelessness, support people and strengthen community health and safety, and the Local Government Development Approvals Fund, which is intended to support local governments in implementing established best practices and testing innovative approaches to improve development approvals processes which I think simply means that they can use the money to make improvements to the way municipalities approve development requests. Council also authorized the Village of Cash Creek to participate in the TNRD Invasive Plant Service. This will cost the Village $5,000 a year and allow residents to access all of the services the Invasive Plant Services offer, such as helping to deal with invasive plants on residential properties. And that was it for the Cash Creek Council meeting that happened last night Monday, March 15th. Have a wonderful day.